Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I wanna show you something really cool. A lot of people have asked, how can they redirect someone when they log in into their Wix website? So there's actually not a possible way through the Wix uh, platform, but I found a way that you can do this and you know it will work the same way. So let's get started here. So first, uh, I took it even one step forward, and what I did is I created a plan so that way you can redirect people based on the type of plan or membership that they might have within the Wix uh, account. So I created a few samples here, and I'm going to show you how it works. So we're going to log in, log out, uh, cancel some subscriptions so that way you'll see how it works. So right now I have this called American Silver membership. So if I go here and I log out, okay? And I, again, be patient with me a little bit because I wanna show you how it works so that way you can see if this is something that works for what you need. So someone comes to your website, already purchased that membership, right? So let's say this person already has the silver membership and then it logins onto your account. I mean, to your website. And then as you can see here, it took me to that page, right? So as you can see right here. And now if I go here and I cancel that subscription, then I can go here. Then yes, I can cancel it. It will keep it the same way. So if I log out, right? And I click login. Now it's just gonna keep me on the homepage. So this is something that how usually works with uh, with the Wix app is that you can uh, technically redirect someone. It took me to this page because that's where I was, but normally it will just leave you on the home page, right? So now let's get a different subscription and then I'm gonna show you how it works. So we're gonna go to get a pricing plan and we're gonna get this one right here. So I'm gonna select, get the plan, and now it's all good, right? So I have my uh, plan here. And then if I go here to log out, then we can click login. And then we're gonna do test two. And it should take me to the gold membership. There you go. So as you can see, it's actually very simple to do. Uh, the whole step is gonna be very fast. So bear with me, let's get started into how we're gonna do this part. Uh, and I'm gonna explain you how it works. So assuming you already have your website, it's actually gonna be very simple. So let me remove the container here and I'm gonna show you how we did it here. So. All I did is you already have your actual um, Wix uh, members login button right here, right? When you add the app for um, the members area. So let's go here so you can see which one I'm talking about. Oh, here. It's uh, taking a little bit to load. Where do you go? Okay, here, this this one right here, right? So you have your mix or your Wix members area uh, app. When you add it, it automatically adds the button. So all I have to do is just go in here and add a button, right? Just you can use any of the buttons. And then I just name it login. And then right here, you're going to make sure you turn on your... Um, your coding. This is Wix Studio. It will look a little bit different to uh, turn on the coding part, but if you're on Classic Editor, it's gonna be at the top somewhere around here on the banner. So I can click Start Coding, or in this case, if you're on Classic Editor, it will say, um, turn on developer mode. So once you're here, this part will look exactly the same. So once this opens, all you have to do is add your button, and change the ID to login um, BTN or whatever you want. But if you change it, make sure on the code is also going to be changed. Then the next thing, the next thing I did is I grabbed the button 
and paste it on top of this item right here of my regular login um, button bar. And then I'll just put, uh, put it right there. And then I put place in a container. So now they're both in there, okay? And then you can see it right here on your layers. That's where the button is. And then you can just, if anything, you can do move forward. Now you can see it's right there. Uh, but what we want is the main button. So we're gonna go back and we want this to be all the way at the front. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so we want our login button to be at the front because that's what we want them to click. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go make sure you're on the banner and then click open master page. And once you do this part, make sure that the button is selected. So we're gonna do the login button that we created. And then as you can see, it's right there. You're gonna also add a on click, okay? Uh, handler, and this is gonna make sure that when you add it, it on the click, it's gonna work, okay? So that's it. So that's all we did there. Then the next thing is just making sure if you already have your pricing plans is like, as you can see here, I have the pricing plans app uh, with already the plans I already have. You're just gonna copy this. So that's it. This is your the name of the plan that you wanna copy because this is what we're gonna use to redirect the user. So now let me show you on the code how this and how it's set up, right? So update the login button visibility. So this is the button that we have right here. And then all we're doing here is when the user is logging, right? Uh, it's gonna be hidden. So that's why we have it right here. So if the uh, user is logging, it's gonna be hidden. But if the user is not, then it's gonna, sorry, if the user is logging, it's gonna hide, but if the user is not, it's gonna show. So that's how it's gonna be on top. Then it's gonna look for the pricing plan of the person, and this is where you're gonna be changing the things. So if your plan name is American Silver, this is what is gonna be changed, okay? And then you also gonna have to change this one right here has silver plan, okay? So you can just uh, just flip this one, and as you can see, it's right there. It's also case sensitive, and then here, the name of the plan, I have it set as American Gold. So as you can see right there. So when you change it here, make sure you change this to American Gold, and then here, Gold. So it takes the, the first, uh, the first phrase, which is goal plan, okay? And then if it has the plan that we want, then we want them to be directed to this page right here. So how do you copy this page? All you have to do is go to any of the pages. So it could be, let's say, even if it was this one, you wanna go where it says SEO settings. And then as you can see, there's a forward slash here, and that, that's the name of your page. So, cause if you later add a domain to it, cause you're working on a free website, right? It might have the Wix, uh, as you can see here, it will have the Wix free URL. So what you want is this part right here after the domain. So that's why uh, on this case, I created two different pages on the members area. So I can redirect them to the right place and I have the silver package or silver page in this case. Uh, so I'll copy this part right here and then I'll replace this page. And then for the golf page, you're also gonna do it right here. So once you do this part, then everything stays the same. So now let's go back and let's say we wanna change the member. So if we go back here, we're gonna go to change the subscriptions. And right now I have this plan, right? So what I wanna do is I can 
change this page so I can send them somewhere else whenever they log in. So let's say I want them to go to the store page. So I can go here, copy my page. And then when I open this part right here on the panel, then we can change it right here. So I want to do So that's my new page, let's say that, right? So I can click publish and we're gonna go right here. We're gonna log out so that way we can test it. And as you can see, because earlier I moved this, that's why the button looks like that. So make sure that when you are adjusting the button, it's on top of the other one. So it doesn't look like what just happened right now. So all you just have to play, make sure it's inside the container uh, and we can actually fix it in a bit. So that way it doesn't look like this. Because that way you can see it's on top of the button. Let's actually do it now. Let's fix this before we complete it. And let me see. Because I created a container er earlier. So let me extend this. I'm going to put this one on top of this one right here. And then I'm going to select bolt and then place in a container so that way when uh, it expands it's going to stay inside that container um, let me see there you go so now you can see you it's hard to see the other one so once we click on it test two Then we're adding it right there. And that's it. So you can see it took us to this page right here, which is blank dash three. So that's how you're going to be updating the code. So one thing to know, and that's important, is you can just copy this code from the description that I'm going to have uh, on, on the link below. Uh, but if you want to learn how to create your own code, uh, I have another uh, link there where you can put your information so that way you can be subscribed and I can let you know when the course is available where you're going to be able to create your own code so you don't have to struggle on copying and trying to adjust things it will be much easier so I'm going to be giving you a tool that you can use to create your own code so you can create complex projects and make sure like uh, everything works according to the business needs or the website functionalities that you want. So hope uh, this uh, tutorial was uh, useful to you. If you have questions, feel free to send, uh, send me a message, comment, and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Uh, but at least now you see it is possible. Uh, if you want to see how to do it with roles, I'm going to do another video to show how to do with roles. It will be a little bit similar. Uh, the only difference is on the code. Instead of requesting to find the pricing plan, it will look for roles. But mostly people use pricing plans. That's why I decided to do it with this. So have a good one. Take care and see you in the next video.